It was an emotional day at the Blue House for the first time since the Sewolho ferry disaster three years ago. President Moon Jae in invited the families of victims to the nation's top office, where they received an apology from the president himself. Our Blue House correspondent Hwang Ojun reports. It's been three years and four months since the sinking of the Sewolho ferry, one of the nation's worst maritime accidents that claimed the lives of 309 people, most of them high school students. And on Wednesday, the reception hall of the presidential office of Cheong Wade welcomed more than 200 family members of the victims, all dressed in yellow in remembrance of the incident. They met with President Moon Jae-in, who offered his most sincere apologies. He also underscored the importance of finding the truth behind the disaster to make sure such accident would never happen again. According to the Blue House, the president stressed the government's will to work hard along with the National Assembly to shed some light on those unresolved questions. President Moon said a second Seoul Special Investigation Commission, which will have legal authority, will be more effective than the government itself. It will also signify the continuation of the legacy of the first special commission. He said he trusts the special law will get parliamentary approval. One of the parents of the victims said just meeting with the president and having an opportunity to have his voice heard was a great consolation. President Moon said he'd initially wanted to invite the families once all the missing passengers were recovered, but asked them to come while the search is still going on. He pledged the government will do everything it can to ensure the remains of the five passengers still missing are returned to their families. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.